In this city, when the heat rises, so does the murder rate. All right, everybody, let's get this stuff back to the lab. Hey, Chief, no need. Look what I found. Bite mark. Bologna sandwich. Now that's what I call dead meat. What is wrong with you? Dead meat? This is a murder. That's a human person. That is his wife over there. You're a fucking asshole. He's a crime solver who doesn't like to play by the rules. I'm getting something on these bite marks here, but it's far from conclusive. Would you say there's a reasonable degree of scientific certainty? No. That's meaningless. Right. And that's a problem for absolutely everyone around him. Chief. The hair matches the victim's wife. Case closed. Slow down. Microscopic hair comparison is bullshit science. Chief, I ran a mitochondrial DNA test on those hairs. Your wife did it, right? Case closed. Actually, there were five hairs. Three were from a coconut. And two were from the wife. One was from a cabbage patch kid. And the remaining one was from the wife. This golden retriever. So there's our killer right there, Chief. The victim was shot. How could a dog fire a gun? That's a bad dog right there. And he's about to face some... roof justice. We're indoors. Fuck you. And he won't stop asking the hard questions. About a certainly reasonable science degree or two? No. Yeah, okay. Because he's passionate about his job, despite not fully understanding what that job is. If we don't have something solid by tomorrow, DA's gonna have my ass. Why would the DA have your ass? We don't work for the DA. What? We don't work for the DA. We do understand that, right? Please, tell us you understand that. Well, yeah. I understand that, totally. Oh, there's no way he understands that because this guy will not quit. How about a certainly reasonable? Just stop talking. OK. Keep up the good work. OK. And even when his team abandons him, he's not afraid to call for backup. This better be good. Oh, it is. I brought in some extra help. Expert witnesses to help lock in this case. Take a look. We got a forensic dentist, twin boy detectives, an old-timey prospector with a divining rod, a sack full of magic eight balls and the county's foremost crime-sniffing pony. None of this is admissible in court. Actually, three of them have testified in court before, and they all got convictions. Wait, is that the baloney evidence? Yes! Oh, my God! CSI. Crime. Scene. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs>